now. Next up is the Yorton Trophy for leading hurdling mare. And the standard of mares in the National Hunt Sphere keeps on getting better and better. And hopefully with the advent of the Great British Bonus, make sure you get your forms in by the end of August, by the way. Uh, we'll, we'll just keep adding to that. And this year's Cheltenham Festival was a standout with seven mares taking top honours. And the next trophy is generously sponsored by Dave Futter of Yorton Farm. And the Yorton Trophy is this year awarded for the leading hurdling mare. So the three nominees are uh, honeysuckle by the Yorton sire Suleimani out of First Royal, trained by Henry de Bombhead for Kenny Alexander and bred, bred by Dr. Jeffrey Guy. Uh, the wonderful Lady Buttons by Beneficial out of Lady Chap, trained by Phil Kirby for Keith and Jane Sybils, who also bred Lady Buttons. And Papagana by Martelline out of New Destiny, trained by Oliver Sherwood for owner breeder and TBA committee member Dominic Burke. No surprises that even in a stellar field, the winner of the Yorton Trophy, and again, appropriately enough, by a stallion who stood in his latter years at Yorton Farm, Suleimani, is Honeysuckle. Fantastic, unbeaten mare. Eight out of eight, her victories, including the Hatton's Grace Hurdle Grade 1 at Fairy House, the Irish Champion Hurdle Grade 1 at Leopardstown, and victory, of course, in the Mare's Hurdle at Cheltenham in that stirring battle with Benny de Dieu. So talked about in the weeks leading up to and in the weeks after Cheltenham. And representing uh, Dr. Jeffrey Guy is, is Doug Proctor, whose Glanville stud has done so much to nurture the career uh, of this family. Um, and uh, Doug, I know how much pleasure this mayor has given to you. You're living, a, you're living a bit of a dream for her, aren't you? Oh, um, undoubtedly. I think I probably need to find sound. Well, I tell you what, I can hear you perfectly and I can see oh, you. Brilliant. So, I, I, um, yeah, no, I mean, you, you can't dream of breeding something like Honeysuckle. I mean, you know, her novice career was exciting. Um, she then won a conditions race, which I, I watched on a telephone on a ferry docking in Ireland uh, on the way to the sales at Fairy House and bumped straight into Peter Maloney when I got to the sales, who'd just come over from the races. Um, and then, then she went for the Hatton's Grace and that was the big test. Was she going to make it out of novice company? And we were actually at Lark Hill watching my son ride in a point to point. Um, and so we were watching it on a phone in the box park. And then the girls back in the office couldn't get the computer to work. So my wife was on a a video call filming my phone with the race on back to the girls in the office. And, you know, as the shouting started, people that were warming horses down started congregating around the lorry where we were. And just the way she won that race was, yeah, you, you just, you dream of days like that. And then to go on and win the Irish champion hurdle over a distance that isn't hers, I thought, I mean, people were talking about what races should she go for. I've never thought she jumps like a top two miler. Top two milers flick over them. She jumps them. So that, you know, that, that was, again, incredibly exciting. And then, but luckily, we were there at Cheltenham for the Mayor's Hurdle. Um, and people have probably seen on social media the picture of me, Lucy and Freddie as she crossed the line. <laughs> Um, it was, yeah, you know, what more can you say? You, you just, you could never imagine you'd breed something that give you a ride like her. And in, in terms of her, her very early career, Doug, were there, were there indications that she was going to, you know, outrun what was a good pedigree, but she was going to outrun that and turn into this, just unusual talent that she is. Was there anything that gave you that indication as a, as a foal? Um, well, I, I always liked her as a foal because I sent the mare straight back to Suleimani. Um, and Vicky Lewis that runs our young stock yard, she was always her favorite as a youngster. Um, you know, but there's an awful lot of nice young horses out there that don't do what she's done. I don't think I could ever pretend I could see anything in her that made me think she was that good.
but when we were selling a, a fairy house, I told every agent going, you need to buy this filly. It's a really nice filly. Um, Mark O'Hare was the one that made the right decision. And how is the family developing? Uh, well, unfortunately, uh, we lost her dam, First Royal, the next year, uh, having produced a full brother. Uh, he was orphaned at three months. We lost her. Um, but I have a half-sister by Scirocco that uh, we raced ourselves in France. Uh, you know, she managed three places. Um, <laughs> I, I then sold her for Dr. Guy to Krista Gilbert, who trains in Jersey. Uh, and then she went wrong, and I'd always said, oh, we might buy her back. Uh, so, yeah, frantically bought her back. Uh, the sister being in Jersey, I took her to France. Uh, she was covered by Motivator for her first foal, and so we have a, a Philly foal out of her for the first foal. But that's the only other mare in that family, a apart from all the ones in Germany from the further family. But yeah, but uh, but the, the, there is legacy there for you, and and fingers crossed it can it can carry on. And and what would uh, let me let me ask you, Doug? What would you like to see her do next? Do you want to to see honeysuckle jump a fence or not? Frankly, after what she's done, I don't care what she does next, as long as she keeps winning. Well, it's fair and honest. And once again, thanks so much for your time, and congratulations on winning the appropriately enough the the Yorton Trophy because it was there where. Um, the scene of one of the great conceptions, dare I say it. I think we've lost him. Doug, thank, thank you very you. much. That was Doug Pro Proctor, the, uh, the breeder of Honeysuckle with Dr. Jeffrey Guy. And congratulations to the Honeysuckle team. Eight out of eight. She could hardly be beaten, could she? The 